Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we were meant to have our hands on issue number 35, but due to distribution issues, it didn't arrive. So I'm going to be doing a bit of detective work. I'm going to be deciphering how to make the Susanna Square on my own. This here is the Peter Rabbit patchwork quilt with all of the pieces and squares involved with the quilt. The Susanna patch is this patch right here. And by looking at it, I'm able to decipher which of the templates I'll need from my template box to make the Susanna patch. I'm going to be using this as my guide. I'm also going to be using my 22 centimeter template to make sure that I'm using the correct template pieces. By studying the Susanna patch, there's a square in the middle and we're going to be using the template that we used for the double four patch. It looks like it's this sort of size, so I'm going to pop that in place. We're also going to use these template shapes here, which we used in the Trafalgar Square. And I've also got the E template, which are these long rectangle shapes along the edge, and they are from the nine patch. And as I haven't received any fabric or the issue, I'm going to be using our own fabric. For the square in the middle or the diamond, I'm going to be using our licensed Peter Rabbit fabric. I'm also going to be using my Daisy Blue fabric. And I've also got my hands on another licensed fabric, which I'm going to be using as well. It's time to get cracking to cut out our pieces of fabric. So we've cut out all of our pieces for the Susanna patch. I've deciphered by using our 22 centimeter template that the templates that we needed to make this are four of the H template, four of the E template, and one of the B template. I've cut them all out. I'm now going to lay out the Susanna square in front of me. We've got our patch laid out in front of us. I'm now going to set up our machine and then begin our sewing. So I've got my sewing machine all set up and we're ready to sew. Although I don't have the instructions or the guide, I'm going to be sewing these two pairs together first. I've had a good look at the patch and I'm thinking that would be the easiest way to connect everything together. I've also got my towel set up. I'm going to be pressing the seams in between the sewing. Let's get cracking and sew all of our pairs. pairs have been stitched together, I'm now going to press all of their seams. Looking closely at the square, I'm going to be stitching this half together and then this half, following by giving it a good press.
And now for the tricky bit. I'm going to be sewing the center square onto this half first and giving it a press. So I've stitched my two halves together and the square in the center. I'm going to now give it a press and see how it's turned out. So here we have our Susanna square without using instructions or having the guide of issue 35. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Although it is wonky donkey, it will add character to the finished patchwork quilt. I did add little floral motives on here with the so quick glue. I think the fabric is quite plain that I've chosen and these little floral motives just add a nice little touch to it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you got issue number 35. I'm sure I'll receive it next week, but I'm going to keep those fabrics in my fabric box for other little things. I look forward to seeing you next time when we hopefully receive issue number 36, where the guide explains how to sew the squares together. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.